hi guys welcome back to my channel today we are con doing conversions and we will do the imperial system as well as the matrix system let's start with this question 540 millimeters to meters okay but let's say you don't have to use the diagram they do give you then one meter is equal to a thousand millimeters what do you do Okay, the first thing you need to do is just write what you have. One meter is equal to a thousand millimeter. Then you are going to put 540 millimeters on the millimeter side. And then you don't know what this is. We'll call it X. We'll say this is X meters. Right. Now, we are going to do cross multiplication, but I will show you again what I call the seventh method because it's easier to work with. It's cross multiplication made easy. So what I do is I just draw a seven with the numbers. So I first cross multiply and then it bounces off and divides. So that means now if I were to work this out, I'll say X is equal to 540. Then this part, guys, means multiplication. So I multiply by 1. And then after that, I divide by 1,000. Therefore, the answer you will get will be 0, 0,54. Sorry, 5, 0, 0,54 meters. Now, let's move on to the second question. 38,5 kilometers to meters, and they do give you that one kilometer is in fact equal to 1,000 meters. Okay, the first thing you need to do, write what you have down, which is one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. Then what do you do? I have 38,5 kilometers. I'm going to write it on the kilometer side. Very important to stay consistent. And then this side now, you're going to have X meters. Then you draw your seven. That is cross multiplication starting from here. Cross multiply those two numbers and then bounces off and divides. So it means you have X is equal to 38,5 time kilometers times by a thousand and then divide by one which won't make a difference and the answer you should have is 38,500 meters let's move on to the third question let's see something that's not familiar we're going from imperial to metric system so they are giving us that one yard is equal to 0 0.9144 meters. How are you going to do this? The first thing you need to do, guys, is just write what you have done. One yard is equal to 0 0.9144 meters. Then secondly, you'll say 50 yards is equal to X meters. Now, this is what you're going to do. You're going to draw your seven going from 50 times by 0, 0,9144 and then it bounces off and divides the 1. It won't make a difference, but however, we need to know how to use this method properly. So x is equal to 50 yards, then times by what? Times by that 0, 0,9144 and then you divide. You divide by 1. And then the answer you should get is 45,72 meters. Okay, so let's look at converting to pints. We're given 3,5 gallons to pints. We are told that one gallon is equal to eight pints. So let's just write one gallon here, which is equal to eight pints. That means 3,5 gallons is equal to X pints. So we are going to do cross multiplication or the seventh method. So we're going to read it as follows. X is equal to this part, guys, as I said, means multiplication. In the previous slide, so it's 3,5 times by 8 divided by 1 answer we should get is 28 pints. 
Moving on to the second question, 11,366 liters to pints. We are told that one gallon is equal to 0 0,5683 liters. First thing that we need to do is write what we know. We're going to write that one pint is equal to 0 0,5683 liters. That means 11,366 liters, staying consistent there with the liters on my right hand side. And then I have X pints and those stay on my left. Now I'm going to do the seventh method or cross multiplication. So those two cross multiply and bounces off and divides with 0, 0,5683 liters. So the answer that you get you write it as follows, x is equal to 11,366 times by 1, then divided by 0, 0,5683. And then the answer you should have is 20 pints. The last question. Here I'm being, they're saying 1 meters cubed converted to pints. Now, I know that 1 meters cubed is equivalent to one kiloliter and a kiloliter is a thousand liters okay so that is very important so the process is going to be like this we get meters cubed to capacity so this is what i already know they said that i'm going to say this 1000 liters to pints so and then i bring in what they told me so they said that one pint is equal to 0, 0,5683 liters. That means a thousand liters here is equal to X pints. And then I will draw my seven. So I will go from a thousand times by one divided by 0, 0,5683. So let's just write it. So we have x is equal to a thousand times by one divided by 0, 0,5683. And the answer you should get is 1759,63 pints. And that's it.